Hey guys, welcome to Functional Print Friday. So I was recently using my crown stapler and the trigger stopped working. And it's, uh, it's back together now. Um, but the, uh, the pin here that it swings on uh, had backed out of the, uh, the hole. And uh, when I investigated it further to see what was supposed to be retaining in there, there is a piece in here. And I put the pieces back in there. Uh, let's see if I can get close here. The, whatever this is here is just completely disintegrated. I thought it was uh, an E-clip or a circlip at first, but it is like a plastic material uh, that has just deteriorated. thought maybe it was an O-ring, but I've got a couple of different O-ring kits, and I don't have any O-rings this small, and it doesn't quite feel like an O-ring uh, either. It feels like it was a harder plastic uh, to start with and has maybe kind of gotten uh, eaten apart. But now without that there, you can see this ring uh, pushes right out. And I had the exact same problem um, with my brad nailer that is basically the same tool as this guy. Uh, one just fires brads, one fires staples. And you can see on this one years ago, I just made a little ring uh, that pressed in place on that pin and it has worked great since. And I was trying to find uh, an E-clip on here to show you guys and I did find one uh, that's what an e-clip looks like that is not what this is that's a these are metal um, and that would seem to be a better solution but it wouldn't fit here in the uh, <clears throat> in the trigger I guess because this is recessed so they, they use this other part and while I was looking for that e-clip I noticed that there was actually this pin here uh, that retains this front cover or I should say that this front cover swings on it's also backing out. So I, it probably had one of those same little pieces on it. And I just didn't realize that that one had also failed uh, as well. So what we've got to do is make, I guess, three more of, uh, of this little piece here. Uh, and this has got to be the world's smallest functional print. I've printed hundreds of things uh, to fix various tools and to, uh, uh, you know, to just make stuff better or improve it. I don't have any prints that are even remotely this small in any of my other projects. Uh, so let's go down. Let's print up. Uh, we definitely need, let's see, we need one for here. We need one for this pin here to retain it. And let's see, this guy, yep, that one's missing as well. Interesting. Or there was never anything there, but no, it's got that same sort of... Uh, it's like it's barbed on the end. It's probably not focusing. So, all right, let's go print up uh, one, two, three of those barbed, uh, or I should say the retaining ring uh, for this barbed pin. All right, let's see if we can get these on here now. All right, this actually broke apart pressing it on there. Um, I don't know why I didn't do this in TPU. Well, I know why I didn't do this in TPU. The original one that I had uh, put on here in the trigger is just plain old PLA. Uh, this pin and the barb on the end is a little bit different than this pin here, but the shaft size is the same. so. I think if I do one in TPU, uh, it'll actually work for uh, both of these. So yeah, let's go reprint that in TPU. All right, PLA, admittedly a poor choice. Uh, in my defense, when I made the original one uh, on this guy for the trigger, all I could print was PLA on my ANET A8. Um, but TPU is gonna be a much better choice. So here we go again, this time, same part, but in gray TPU. Yep, oh, that's perfect. 
Wow, that's uh, that's perfect. That is way better than the original one I made in PLA. Actually, it's probably better than the original part. Uh, I'm willing to bet TPU is going to hold up over time better than whatever that original material was. So, all right, well, now I've got to print two more uh, so that we can fix the trigger and pin retainer on the other gun as well. Yep, that's a perfect fit on that one as well. I can feel it snug on there. Uh, I can turn it with my fingernail, but just barely. And last but not least, the trigger on this one. Wow, that actually fits even better than the other ones, which makes sense. The original design uh, was for the, uh, the trigger piece. Uh, that's the PLA one on here. Uh, that fits perfectly. So I'll have to print one more. And I think I should be able to, yeah, I think I can push this pin. I should be able to drive this pin back out, uh, pressing it through the PLA piece and put TPU on here as well. Because even though this PLA piece hasn't failed and may never fail on this one, I've been using it for, I think, like five years. Uh, I know the TPU is the better material for here. So guys, thanks for tuning in. Uh, you can't call that clickbait. Uh, or if you do, you better post down in the comments what your smallest functional print is. Uh, this is, uh, you know what, let's see how big that is across. All right, so we'll measure one of the PLA ones since uh, these guys are already in place. So thickness, it's a whopping two millimeters. And the OD is right on 5.5, five, I'd have to say. Yeah, it looks like it's probably about 5.5. Five, five, so. If you've got a smaller uh, print that you've made that's actually a functional print that's fixed something or does something for you, I'd love to see it. Uh, post it down in the comments. And guys, if you enjoyed this video, uh, I do a new video like this every week. It's usually something a bit more complex and a little bit bigger uh, than these tiny guys. But if you enjoyed this, uh, please hit that like button. And if you want to see more like this, hit that subscribe button. I put out a new video every single Friday. And guys, if you do choose to subscribe, I will see you next Friday. Friday.